and salutations. It's your boy D Boom for LLE Ascension, aka LLE Astrology, aka LLE Tarot. Um, you know what I'm saying? Coming at you once again, you feel me? Uh finishing up these extended breakdowns and getting into the new week, which will be the third video. Um, just shooting them back to back to back. Kickstart a new week with Twin Flames and separation for the new week. So before I get into the new week, like I said, I'm going to do these two extended breakdowns. Been in the midst of these two extended breakdowns. Uh, just really marinate on this week. This week has been very interesting. This week has, in my opinion, been a very eye-opener. It's been a very, you know, uh, you know, Braxton, uh, Hart and the Brig, ah, moment. You know what I mean? It's just been a very interesting. It's been interesting. You learn a lot about your masculine. You learn a lot about yourself. He's learning a lot about his feminine. He's learning a lot about himself. And, you know, you're getting into the madness, the behavior. You know, it's been a lot of explanations for what's going on now. Like, you know, like I say, part of the reason why, <laughs> part of the reason why this seems like a freaking sitcom and, you know, almost like a show. Because I watch it and I, I find it's actually just sitting back and watching these, you know what I mean? And, it's funny, especially how it relates, you know, not to my life, but you guys' life. Uh, we're in different situations, but it's the same situation overall. So it's just amazing. It's just a sign to me that we're all in the same boat. We're all in the same gang. <laughs> gang, gang, gang. You know what I'm saying? We're all in the same gang, like, all day. Like, it's this journey has been, at least for this year, very interesting. We ain't even... Well, even I'm in Chicago, you know what I'm saying? It ain't, even, it ain't even warm yet up here. It's still like winter up here, you know what I mean? We're still we're late. It's just a delay going on, you know what I mean? Which is good. So, anyway, that's where I'm at, you know what I'm saying? Uh, going straight into it. Divine Feminine's Karmic Situation. Uh, if you need any readings from me, just click on the link below here, right? You're going to get to my website. Please do not log into any other section of my site. It's just the contact section. If you scroll down on any page, you'll see the contact section of my uh, website, just um, send your information to me, and I can reply you back, um, please don't send any money unless I reply to you, like me directly, email, not an automated message, if you get an automated message, please disregard that, because like I said, you're not supposed to be over there anyway, so, it's my bad, I'm sorry, you know what I mean, it's been a lot of confusion, and I really apologize, but uh, yeah, just send me your information, or just send me your information, just send me an email, and I'm going to start putting my email on the bottom of the list too, so, um, just send me an email, and once again, Daniel Sterling on Facebook. If you haven't added me, add me already. Um, cause like I say, I'm on the work. I'm just gonna start getting busy on there when I get 2,000 friends on there, cause you know I'm a lame on Facebook. But uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm almost there. So um, soon I get there, which will be soon. Um, I'm gonna start getting busy on there. It's gonna be more, kind of more on the go. You know what I mean? It's not gonna be kind of long like this, but it's gonna be at least short bursts of info. You know what I mean? In case you got any questions, I can answer them for you real quick. So then when you get to the reading, you can start to understand more with the question I just answered and all that goodness. So anyway, going to the reading. Turn my mouse off. Going to the reading. Uh, Divine Feminine's Karmic Situation. So, <clears throat> I'm feeling in karmics already before I even pull cards. I just get a sense that... <laughs> My feminine is ready for a change, man. She's so done with the Matrix. She's so done with this game. She's so beyond all of this. And uh, but to me, I just I just seem like that's just where we at now in the game. That's where we at now in this experience. That's where we at now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying in this journey. So let's begin. Oh my God. <laughs> Overall energy, Matrix. I mean, of course, it's a karmic situation. If you're even in a karmic situation. But we got the Matrix card. And this has been showing up a lot as far as the Divine Feminine and her situation, her personal situation. At least as far as readings and shit like that. So, off top, Four of Cups. The Matrix. The Matrix! Off top. That's overall. And bottom line, one big-ass decision with the Ace of Swords. One big-ass decision. So, overall, under all, it's like... This little matrix situation, this little karmic situation, this little simulation, this little program, this little demo, this little situation. Big ass decision need to be made in regards to this uh this karmic situation. But on top of that, above A, above A, all, above all, you feel what I'm saying? 
The Ace of Swords can represent raw power. It represents, to me, growing stronger in your powers, growing stronger in your abilities. You feel what I'm saying? A, advancing. You know what I'm saying? Ascension. LLU Ascension. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my subscribers. LLU Ascension. All day. Bottom line, ascending from this matrix. Unplugging out of this matrix, this program. I mean, it's cool to be in a matrix to do what you need to do, but you need to unplug out this program. That's automatically how I'm feeling off top. Because going straight into the situation, Divine Feminine, she's on the fence about being in the matrix. I'm going to use this card like I do in them Divine Masculine. Spank time. I already tell this matrix is going to spank everything on this deck real quick, so we're going to get into it. Off top, Divine Feminine, you're hopping the fence on being in this matrix and not spank. You know what I'm saying? It's going to pop out. You know what I'm saying? Real fast. Okay? Now, this Divine Masculine. Just damn. Fuck. Pop out. You know what I'm saying? This Karmic Masculine. Excuse me. You know what I'm saying? He's still in that juvenile energy. This is coming into the situation. Coming into the situation, you're still on the fence, Divine Feminine. And coming into the situation right here for this... Yeah, this is extended breakdown. Coming up this week, coming into the situation, you know what I'm saying? I just take it as your Karmic is being very juvenile. He's acting like a kid more. He's being very kiddish. He's being very on the nan 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 nan, nan side. Just, you know what I mean? Like a spoiled kid. He's acting like a spoiled ass kid. And moving on to the divine feminine in regards to herself in this matrix. Yeah, I mean, we got this ten of wands. Ending something you're passionate about. You're passionate about this program. Or this program is just a comfort zone. I just take this as a comfort zone. It's just a comfort zone. This is one big ass comfort zone that you really know you got to leave alone. And it's about that time for you to exit or you're been making your way to exit. And now the way you've been making to get to the point of making your way out is time. It's here now. It's here now. It's here now. It's time to get up out of there. You know what I mean? Time to, time to jack out. It's like playing a game. I'm going to tell this story and I'm going to move on. This is overall the matrix <clears throat> for with the four cups. And this is a divine feminine in regards to herself turning the game off basically story time <clears throat> and i'm gonna hold this up this shows you how young i am too um i remember when the playstation the, the original playstation first came out and i'm saying i'm saying a playstation because i'm a man and playstation is just a good key in our growth and shit that's why comics buy us ps4s and we just be on goofy singing god's plan in the shower and all that goofy ass shit you know what i'm saying that's just i mean any rate any rate youngin starts that shit Starts as a young age, like when I was young, I had to be about, fuck, I don't know, like um, 12 maybe, 11, 12 maybe. PlayStation was out well before I got one, but that's black problems. That's Negro shit, like, you know what I'm saying? You know, New Jordans come out, I get them just like two years afterwards. PlayStation come out, I get that like three years afterwards. Like right now, I'm on NBA 16 when I need to be on 18, 19, I don't know. I'm just always behind, you feel me? But anyway, anyway. PlayStation first came out. Finally got one. Couldn't afford no games. You know what I'm talking about? I had a demo disc. I played the fuck out that demo disc for like dem three days straight. Little kid. Not even a little kid. Teenager. Preteen. Preteen. Just on the game. Literally for three fucking days. I was skipping school off of it. Because I was standing in my grandma's crib. It was like one of them days in my the era of my time where it was pretty loose. You know what I mean? As a youngin, so PlayStation, three straight days, collapse, sleep, just dead, you know what I'm saying? Eating, sleeping, just, I mean, it was almost like this PlayStation had my soul from the get-go. That's why I'm PS4 for life, baby. But at any rate, had my soul from the get-go, but my grandmother, I remember she just came in and was like, boy, you been on this thing, this thing sucking the soul about you, man, like, you, like turn this off. And I like turn the TV off, but not turn the game off. She just unplugged the shit and... You know what I mean? It's just like sometimes God got to come through and be like my grandma and just unplug it because if it was up, if it was up to you, this is your energy, Divine Feminine. If it was up to you, you'll be doing that all day. No. But it's it's time. That shit, it's time to go. You got to turn the game off. Divine Masculine is going through the same shit. He's sitting in the crib playing a game while she ain't there. You're playing a game too. You just, same shit. Different way. Now, as far as this uh, karmic masculine, he's on the three of 
Juan shit. So this is in regards to you, the Juan feminist. So basically, he's like I say, he's looking. In my opinion, no clarifications yet. He's just looking for his plug. He's looking for his feminine. He's looking for the woman that's gonna change his life, which you have, and this is what you're doing. Because if you didn't instill this in him, he wouldn't be looking for it. But he wants his own. I mean, he's feeling all the love and all the knowledge and shit you, you, you're bringing, but you're finna kick his ass to the curb and he know all that shit. So, you know, he's got to do what he has to do in the process. Now, divine feminine, in regards to this masculine, <laughs> you're still up in your head for You're still up in your head about the Matrix, man. Still on the fence about the Matrix, man. Even putting shit to an end is still in your head. Good ass simulation. Good ass karma. Same shit. I feel like I'm reading for the Divine Masculine right now. I feel like this is the same reading energy I had when I was reading Divine Masculine when he was in this high, high heyday and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just funny how shit is flipped. But it ain't flipped because tables ain't turning no shit like that. It's just like, it's literally like looking in the mirror and then reflecting, coming back a little different. Like, you're in your head about this shit, this karmic situation. Like, it's Matrix, man. It's almost like you prefer the Matrix over the real world right now. Because it's safe. It's comfortable. It's, it's you know what I'm saying? It's it's there. It's for use. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's just, just masculine. You and the masculine are on the same shit, just differently. Now, as far as this uh, karmic masculine regards to himself, he's in the stalemate. You know what I mean? Like I say, he's just... He's in a stalemate about this whole situation, but as you can see, he's a step above you as far as the swords in my head is like, in my deck, and this high, it's really like the minds, the minds, it's really like in decisions, it's really like, really in the mind, in the mind, he's one step ahead of you in regards to his relation and his role in this whole matrix, you share this matrix together, you know what I mean, as far as the divine feminine, yes, Going into the future, yes, you had, to, I mean, you had to, you know what I mean, so, I mean, of course, consequences, repercussions, cause, effect, what you think, you, what, 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 you just was going to end this, just pull the plug on this, and then think you was just going to what, just had in your mind, hey, maybe I can go back, type shit, no, no, you're going to be asked out by yourself, you know what I mean, not, I mean, it ain't going to be too bad of a loss. Especially for the bosses out there, boss ladies, boss men, bosses out there. I mean, you can always get back. But like I say, this is gonna, this is, you know what I mean? You're gonna, it's a, this is an L, but we don't take losses over here, we take a lesson. So going in the future, Divine Feminine, you're gonna take a lesson about this whole Matrix shit. You're gonna learn a big lesson about staying in the Matrix too long. About not making your mind up in the Matrix, about just being idle minded in the Matrix. You're going to learn a big lesson. That's what your karmic situation is based off of. Just being idle-minded in the matrix. Now, as far as this karmic masculine going into the future, he's got the Queen of Cups card. So to me, this is like, in my opinion, psychic ability. So like, it's just like, same shit with this Three of Wands energy. You know what I'm saying? It's just he's picking up psychic traits, twin flame traits. You know what I'm saying? From you. This is shit that's in him. It's like, even, you know... You've rubbed off on him in major ways. But clarification time. You know what I'm talking about? Clarifying this on the fence, indecisive energy you got going on, Divine Feminine. We got the Seven of Cups. So <laughs> coming into the situation, you're just weighing. This is a scale. Weighing your options. That's all you're doing. And that makes sense. That makes sense. Now. As far as this uh, karmic masculine coming into the situation with this knight of swords, this jump in the gun energy, premature energy, not crossing your T's and dotting your I's before you stepping into a situation, you know what I'm saying? We got the eight of swords. So, yeah, it's like a self-imposed prison. This is like eight of swords. It's like, you know, I take this energy as he's just making this harder on himself, what he's doing right now. He could be acting the ass. He could be being difficult. He could be, like I say, he's making it hard. He's being immature about this right now. He was mature a couple weeks ago, a week ago, a month ago, whatever. He was cool. Now it's like, it's been a little bit of a prick, a little bit of a dick about it. 
You know what I mean? And you're starting to see changes. I'm just taking that as he's changing, and you're starting to see that shit. Now, going to this Ten of Wands, this ending you got. Clarifying this ending you got, you got the Nine of Wands. So, how I'm taking this. This is the karmic masculine's energy coming into this shit. It's like, he's changing up. You're seeing him. You're starting to see that juvenile energy that you really despise and really tired of. But this is the type of shit, like I say, it seems like there's plenty of jacks in the matrix. In this four of cups, there's plenty of jacks here. You looking for kings, you feel what I'm saying? You really ain't gonna find no kings in the matrix. You're gonna find some kings in Zion, you feel what I'm saying, in the real world. So it's like, I take the situation, you coming into how you feeling about yourself with this ending. It's just like, you see this karmic masculine on this immature jack shit, which is literally put him in this jail. Like, this is like a jail that he's put himself in being the way he is. You had interest in him at one point. You, you know, he was potential at one point. But like I say, he fucked himself. He, he put it, you know, it's almost like giving a rope to hang himself with and he hung himself and he's just dead. He, like I say, you broke up with him a long time ago. This situation faded a long time ago, but it's like, you know, you got to end something and begin something. And you'll rather take a knight, a jack with that wand, passionate energy, that divine energy. You'd rather take a knight in training, a divine masculine in training than just a regular man in training. You know what I'm saying? So that's just how I'm taking this. Or I just take this in regards to yourself. You're just trying to end something to begin something. You know what I'm saying? To really try to lean towards this direction, towards this, you know, divine masculine who's like premature right now, but he's growing. He's learning. You know what I'm saying? He's learning. Clarifying this three of wands energy, this divine, I mean, excuse me, karmic masculine has in regards to you, divine feminine. He's got the Patty LaBelle card, the eight of cups, you know what I'm saying? This is on his own, but keeping it classy, you know what I'm saying? So this is like, like I say, he's getting in tune with himself. He's getting in tune with the infinite. Eight plus three is 11, you know what I'm saying? Like just, and this is a twin flame sign, a synchronicity card, you know what I'm saying? For me and my deck. So, it's, you know what I mean? He's like I say. You, some of the divine is rubbed off from you on him. You know what I mean? And he's taking this with him on this journey that he has to embark on his own. But he has to keep, he has to be classy about it. See, he's moving away from this immature energy and learning to be classy about it and be divine about it. But it's really because he's under the divine feminine's energy. This is under this. So really, she's got to, like I say, end things to really spur this change in him. Like I say, you got to end something to begin something. And it's on both ends. Because divine feminine, you are the creator. You're the one making these moves out here. You're the one creating these kingdoms out here. You're the one creating these situations, good or bad. You got to lead it. You got to direct it. That's what you do. I clarifying you being all in your head and shit. <laughs> Y'all being in your head and shit. You're definitely in your head. We got the knight, nine of swords, clarifying the four of swords. So not only in your head about the situation, you're stressing over the situation. You're losing your damn mind over the situation. You know what I'm saying? I just take this as like you've been in the matrix so long. It's like you don't know who the fuck you are anymore. You know what I'm saying? You don't even know what the fuck you're doing anymore. You don't even know. Like, career-wise, you're good. Work-wise, you're good. You're getting on your health. <laughs> For those slowly, like myself, so those are slowly getting back, you know, in their health and shit. But all those angles are good. This is the love department. Because like I say, this is the love channel here. It's all love here. You don't need no negativity and shit. You know what I mean? Take that somewhere <laughs> that way with that shit. You feel me? But and then you want these low energies with these fours. You know what I'm saying? The matrix. You've been in the matrix so long that it's almost like I'm going to just put it like this and I'm going to move on. It's like you've been an undercover cop and you've been undercover so long you, you, you've this situation is like being undercover. You're really not being your true authentic self. Because like I say, with your twin, you talk philosophical shit. Whether he wants to hear it or not, he at least entertains it. This this karmic here, he, you know, maybe he entertains it more than your, your masculine. I mean, it might be vice versa. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's like, you know, you've been in the, you've been in the matrix so long, it's changed you. The world is changing you. Situations are changing you. Shit is making you very cold blooded out here. It's making you real reptilian and and, and that's and you gotta be yourself. You can't let the world, you can't let shit, you know what I mean? It's a whole other situation, but we'll get to it. We'll get to it. But as far as this karmic masculine clarifying the stalemate, we got unconditional love here. So, like I say, in regards to himself, 
The unconditional ha love he has for you, it's pointless. It's not really a pinnacle. You know what I'm saying? It's not really passion. It's not really something that, that's clicking with you right now. You're on a, another a you're on another level. Feel what I'm saying? And the stalemate he's going through in this situation is that, like I said, he's got all this love for you, but it's not going anywhere. It's not like it's not being reciprocated. It's not like it's not being appreciated. It's just not going anywhere. It's just he's just loving for no reason. He's getting closer for no reason. He's getting whatever. For no reason, because we ain't about that. <clears throat> now going to the divine feminine, it's five, three fives in this reading. Once again, she's vibrating this low energy, yo. Clarifying this dark night of the soul, we got the five of wands, which is conflict, back and forth conflict, like back and forth conflict. It's like five plus five, and that shit got an end. Feel me? You in the dark night of the soul, and you still in conflict in this karmic situation. Because of circumstance, not because you wanted to, but because of circumstance. But five plus five, ten. Ten. Endings. Things have to end for things to begin. Okay? Now, clarifying this, Queen of Wands, the psychic energy, this karmic masculine is picking up off your behalf, Divine Feminine. We've got the Ten of Cups. So, like I said, at the end of the day, I just take this Ten of Cups, which is fulfilling your heart's desire. Totally fulfilling your heart's desire. Going into the future, take this as two things. This karmic masculine is going to find his queen and fulfill his heart's desire. Or he's just going into the future looking for a queen that's going to fulfill his heart's desire. Or a queen that is his heart's desire. A queen that completes him. My feminine does not complete him. She compliments him, but she don't complete him. Because he's not hers. And she's not his. So he's got to go find his. And he wants to go find his ten. Five plus five, ten. Ten. This is below this. Feel me? Endings. Things have to end for things to begin. Shit doesn't end, shit won't begin. Simple. Now, clarifying this overall energy, this four cups, this matrix card. We got the queen of swords. Lucy Lou. You know what I'm saying? You already know what it is, Joe. <laughs> And then look how you looking, too. You looking away from the Matrix. You know what I mean? You're looking away. You're the Lucy Lou. You need to be... Shit, I flipped it over. You still looking away from that motherfucker. Like, real talk. Like, It's like that. This, this whole tool of sword shit that you're going through, coming into the situation, this whole all in your head, stress and shit, like... This whole back and forth, dark night of the soul shit. All this shit is going on because you failed to, to face the music. It's almost like no matter where you turn, you know, I don't know if it's inverted. I hope it isn't inverted and she's looking at the four of cups, but she's not looking at the four of cups. But anyway, take it how you're taking it. It's like she's looking away from it, though, you know. It's almost like you're in the Matrix and it's time to go. So, like I say, it's like me sitting at the damn PlayStation playing, like I ain't never gonna see it or something. Like it ain't, it ain't gonna leave. Like it's when I go to school and come back, it's gonna be gone. And it could, cause I was, you know, I had some cousins. You know what I'm saying? They had sticky fingers and shit. You know what I mean? Still in clothes and shoes and shit. But you know what I'm saying? Black problems, black problems, Negro problems. But anyway, it's like you know, it's almost like you're playing this game as if. I mean, you are savoring it. You're savoring this shit. You're savoring it. But it's like, at the end of the day, you know, you got to turn it to Lucy Blue and cut this shit out. You got to cut this cord. You got to unplug yourself. You got to cut yourself out of it. That's how serious it is. If you got to become Lucy Lou to cut yourself from this situation, you know you too attached. You know this shit got a hold on you. And bottom line, with this big ass decision, divine feminine, you right now, 3D, you in a 3D have to make this big ass decision in regards to you and this queen energy cutting your ass out this matrix. This is you, queen, queen. You, you don't want to, I mean, this is your reading. Divine feminine's karmic reading. You gotta, don't jump. I'm saying, <laughs> every time I get on a card that jump out, I'm really talking about their ass. So I'm gonna get on you. It's just like real shit. The way you just jumped out my hand. Divine Feminine, this is you in the 3D. This is what you have to do. This is like 
an appointment. This is some shit that you have to go to, but it's like you got to go to court and you don't want to go there. You got to take a drug test and you don't want to do that. I'm not bringing hood issues in those examples, but it is just the first shit to come to my head. But you got to go to the doctor and you're just scared to go. You know you need to go, but you're scared to go. You just, all right, bet. Fuck that. Perfect example. <clears throat> You're able-bodied, and you know you got to go to work. You got to show up, 3D, right now. You got to show up to work. You know what I mean? But, you know, A, appointment. You know what I mean? You got an appointment with work. You got a date with destiny. You got an appointment from work represents you got a date with destiny, and it's like you're calling off from work, or you want to call off from work, or you should have called off work four hours before here it is, you got to work in like an hour and you still debating whether to call off or not. That's how you feeling right now. You got to call off because you're not going to make it. There's some shit you can't make anymore. There's some shit that's dead. You showing up is just going to further put you in this simulation longer than you expect. Now, I'm going uh, I'm to ask our universe two questions on this, and I'm going to wrap it up. So I got to get to these other readings. Now, Divine Feminine, what do you want to tell this masculine? What does this masculine want to tell the Divine Feminine? So, masculine is telling Divine Feminine, this is cool. But I got to move on to something better. This is okay, but I'm moving on to something better. It's not like he's running away from the situation. It's not his fault. He would like to stay in this shit. It's just, just in the same sense as you would like to stay playing this game, Divine Feminine. But he has to move on. Maybe he's going to take the initiative, which he's probably going to do because he's carrying this three of wands and his spread, which is taking the lead, the initiative, and Divine Feminine, which you're trying to tell him is the two of wands. Since you're in the masculine position right now, looking just like the karmic. This is the karmic role. This is what the karmic, this is what the divine masculine does. And you're acting just like him. So it's only right that you're in his role. This is you and him. This is you in his role. You're in his role. I'm saying this is him. You're, you're in his role. Like, so it's like he's moving away because that's where he needs to go, somewhere else to alleviate you out your space. So all you can think about. Is stabilizing your union. You just need to stabilize your union. And how I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna I'm gonna end it on that note. How I always take this two of wands, the stabilizer. Whoever is the stabilizer, like I say, the three of wands. This is the feminine position, or the most advanced position, or the person who's just making moves, who's in the lead, who has the baton. It's the person who has the baton, aka the plug card. Okay. We're talking about the two of wands, though. This is the support card. This is usually in the divine masculine position, the stabilizer. I'm saying the Jack Arnold card <laughs> from the Wonder Years. You know what I'm saying? He's just handling business, and that's just his role. I don't do what he does. You know what I'm saying? Stabilizer. You feel me? I take this two of wands exactly what it is. It's basically two lights burning in a small space. If you had, like, three of wands, it's like... You got a torch here, you got a torch here, you got a torch here. If you spread them out enough, you can kind of light up a big path. That, But that means you're on the move. You feel what I'm saying? Now, there's two of wands. You're not on the move with two wands. You know what I'm saying? You got to stabilize these bitches. You just get two tiki torches and you set them down. This is meant for you to work. It's meant for you to be in a, a space, a lit space. If you're in a lit area, this is either like to do what you need to do, whether you're making love to your, your, your divine or whether you're working on some shit. That involves you needing light because you're in a place in the darkness. You're in the darkness working. We are light workers. We're working in the dark. That's what your twin does is shed light. They create light for you to work in, Divine Feminine, so you can work, do your work. You need light to do your work or prepare your work so you can go out here and move and get this shit going. And it's like a surfboard. He just carries the torch while you move. Surfboard. <laughs> surfboard. <laughs> Surfboard that shit, you feel me? Like, that's... Just basically telling this kind of masculine, hey, I gotta stabilize some shit anyway. Why you moving? Why you moving on? I got shit to do anyway. 
So it's cool. As long as y'all leave on a nice gelled situation, everything's cool. That's what I got over and out.